Hey guys, welcome back to Let It Roll. Today I got a strategy from a subscriber named Eli. It's called Go Big For One. Now I like this strategy because it's really similar to the way I play. I play two or three hits with a little less money than he does. He just plays for one hit and then he regresses. So you gotta have a lot more money up there. I consider this a really high risk, high reward strategy. So just be careful with it. Remember all the strategies I teach and talk about that people send in for me to show um, I say they can all win and they can all lose. It's just going to depend on how the dice rolls. And in this case, it's just one dice roll. So let's take a look at this. All right, guys. So if you look at this layout here, he's got a $300 layout here. The cool thing is, is that this can be adjusted for any level of table. If you're at a $5 table, you don't need to put $300 out here. You could do $160, your choice, whatever it is. You could play it at a $10, a $15, $25 table. Okay. So the base of this strategy here is you got to have enough money out there to just take one, one chance, basically one roll. If you get past that one roll, you're going to regress and play with the money that you just made on that roll. All right. He does like to work the come outs. So let's explain it real quick. On that one come out roll, if you throw the four, this, the four or the 10, this is how it will play out. You're going to win $50. You'll have to give them the dollar VIG, so 49 profit. And then you've got $30 there. So your total would be $70 if you threw a 4 or a 10 on the come out roll. All right. Now, like I said, this is a one roll strategy. At that point, you wipe everything down. Let's just go ahead and show you. Okay. So like I said, you're going to win the 50 for one. I'm not going to put a dollar here, guys. You would have to pay a dollar VIG. I'm just going to keep it easy to show. So you got 50 there, you got 30 here. So this is your profit right here. And then you would ask them to take you down. And now the whole, the whole thing is, is to play with your profit. So in this case here, if we're at a $25 table, you could do something like that if you want. And now what you're going to do from here is you're going to go ahead and press and collect. And that's what he does. So you're going to get past that one roll. Whatever the amount is you make, you decide where you want to place it on the place bets. And from there, you just collect and press and, and hope for a long roll. So let's get back to the table here. So that's one instance there. Okay. Remember, this is your profit. You can play it anywhere you want to. You don't have to play the way I laid out. You know, that's, that's up to you, he said. Okay. So let's lay it back out real quick. So remember, you've got um you've got a 25 dollar four and ten 50 dollar five and nine 60 dollar six and eight and a 30 dollar filled which comes out to uh, 300 dollars for the roll all right so if you're looking at this again here the five the six and the eight are all going to pay the same here so let's just say that we threw a five but it's all going to work out the same for these three numbers here if we throw a five six or an eight we're going to win 70 dollars Okay, so we would win $70. Let's do it this way. Okay, so we would lose this and we would win 70. So in reality, our profit for that roll would really only be $40. Okay, because we win 70 and we lose 30. So our profit for that roll would be $40. So now we would ask them to take us down. All right, so when you come down, you've got $40 to play with. Okay, let's just leave it there. So with this $40, you need to decide how you want to do it. Remember, it's going to be based on the amount of uh, the limit, the table limit. If you're at a $5 table, you could do a lot with this money. If you started with the $300, remember, you could also lower that down. If you're at a $25 table, you can't do much with this money. You get one number to play, okay? You can pick that number. Um, if you're at a $15 table, then you've got two numbers you could play, okay? Um, so you could do like a $15 six or an $18 six and an $18 eight or a $15 five, $15 nine. But that's what you get if you throw a five, six or an eight. Okay, let's look at it. If we throw uh, the nine, because we already showed you what it was like if you threw the 10. So if we throw the nine, 
it's also going to be good because you get double payment there. So if you throw the 9, you're going to win 70 plus 30. So you're basically going to win $100 if you throw the 9. That's going to be your profit. So you tell them to take it down. And now you've got $100 to play however you want. And there again, it's going to be based on the amount of your table limit there. So in this case here, if you wanted to, you could play, you know, a $50, 5 and 9 or, you know, however you want to spread that $100 out. Uh, but you just got to get past that first roll. Okay, guys, so this is a simple strategy, high risk, high reward. Only one roll you got to get by, but that don't mean you're going to get by it. Just remember that, okay? It's going to be kind of tough. Because they do, you know, they, they do come out. You just never know. There's, you've seen many times that there's come out seven. So if you throw a come out seven, you're going to lose $300 and you're going to have to work your way back up. So, all right, guys, let's take a look at how this strategy wins. Okay, guys, so the thing you got to understand is let's just say I'm teaching this as a, as a one-time shot for now. And then I'll kind of explain it because there's some of the new people that need to understand that it's a process to be able to come out a winner. All right, so I break it down into hands. I play through 10 hand, what I call 10 hand sessions. That means, you know, when the game ends, then that's one hand done. So when the puck gets turned on, no matter how many rolls, if it's 150 rolls, finally, when they seven out that the game ends, that's considered one hand. So let's break it down. First of all, how do you win one hand? All right. So the way you win one hand is to get past that first roll, the come out roll. All right, so if you throw any number other than the seven, then you're guaranteed to win that hand. All right, so let's let's take it a little bit further so those of you that are new can understand this. All right, let's say that you decided to play 10 hands for your complete session. You're going to complete the session after 10 hands. All right, so you're going to have to win at least seven out of 10 hands to break even, be a little ahead or a little behind. That's usually on the average, okay? It could be six hands that you're ahead or whatever, um, but this is just on, on the average. If you win eight hands, you should, in theory, be winning. If you win nine out of ten hands, you'll be happy, and ten out of ten hands, you're really going to be happy. All right, so that's how it would break down to be able to go home a winner. Anytime that you're gambling, you have to have a start point and a stop point, of course, because if you just stay there all day, they're going to drain your bankroll. So that's why I'm breaking it down to 10 hands. If you can win seven out of 10 hands, you should be somewhere in the ballpark of a win. Okay, so that's how you win with this strategy. Okay, so how you lose with this strategy now is if you get, if you throw a come out seven, if you throw a come out seven, you're gonna lose $300. And that's where I say, you know, if you throw three out of 10 come out sevens, you're probably gonna be somewhere in the ballpark of even to a little down, maybe a little up, okay? But, if you don't throw three come out sevens in 10 hands, if you only throw two come out sevens, you should be okay. If you only throw one come out seven, definitely should be a winner. And if you get past 10 hands through uh, making it past that one roll 10 times, you should be a pretty good winner. You should be happy. So just remember the way you lose is throwing that one roll that you need to consider to, to make some money. If you throw the seven on that one roll, that's how you lose with this strategy. Okay, guys, let's look at some adjustments we can make to this strategy. Okay, now remember, once I start adjusting strategies, they're no longer the strategies of the subscribers that sent them in to me, but I think it gives value to those of you that like to watch strategies. So that's why I throw the adjustments in there, because when you're at the table, you know, it's kind of nice to be able to see some of the things before you get to the table um, of what you could do, whether the table's good or bad. Now, the good thing about this strategy is there isn't really much adjustments you can make because you're taking all of the gamble out of it to just one roll. So the only options you really have is, is changing the, the roll you know, when, when you decide to put your money on. So in other words, you don't have to work the come out roll. You can let the point get established and then you could take the next roll. But there again, it's all just a guessing game. There could be 0.7s. You just never know when the seven's coming. But that's one adjustment you can make is go ahead and wait for the come out roll. And then from there, go ahead and take the chance on the one roll that, you know, you're going to not throw a seven. So that's one adjustment. The other adjustments you could make is, is definitely going at a lower amount. Depending on the table limit you're at, 
if you're at a $15 table limit, you don't have to go 300 up here. You could do 160 across. If you're at a $5 table limit, you could do something like 96 across. So you can adjust your levels based on the, uh, the table limit, okay? Um, this table limit right here or the $300 level would work at any level of the table that you're playing at from $25 and below. All right, so that's another adjustment you can make is don't do a full 300. You can do the 160, you could do the 96 if you have a table limit that's low enough. If not, you need to keep it in proportion. That's, that's about the right, this would be the right amount for a $25 table or a $15 table. Okay, so that's the other thing you can do. The last thing is, is basically you would, you know, this, this I wouldn't really recommend because this is a one roll strategy. So you wanna make sure that you collect on every number or on that one roll that's thrown, okay? But if you wanted to, you could just come right down to, you know, a basic iron cross out of this. You just won't make as much money if you throw the four, the nine, or the ten. Actually, it would have been this way, okay? You just won't make as much money if you throw the four, nine, or ten, okay? But you could do something like this and then go from there. Okay, guys, that's the go big for one strategy by Eli. There again, guys, disclaimer, remember all the strategies that I show you that get sent in to me are for entertainment purposes. They're not guaranteed to win. I don't try and push that you're going to win with these strategies because it's just going to depend on how the dice rolls. All right. I do like the fact that you only need to get past one roll with this strategy. The problem with that is you have to play a lot more money to get past one roll. So you're taking a bigger risk to get past one roll and then see if you can ride it out. Hope for a long roll from there. All right, guys, so remember, I'm going to go ahead and be playing this strategy live on Wednesday night. Uh, I'll probably do it again at 6 o'clock. I think I'm going to do it at 6 o'clock uh, Mountain Standard Time. So if you want to see how this strategy fares for me, stop by Wednesday night, check it out. Um, normally, I always say buy-in with 10 shooters, then enough for 10 shooters. In this case, since our layout is $3,000, I'm sorry, $300, we would need $3,000 but I'm gonna go ahead and buy them for 1,500 and we'll go for five shooters. So that may hurt us, but we'll see how that works out. All right guys, thanks again for hanging out with me and I'll catch you guys soon, take care.